Okay, I am back. I don't know how it's going to go. <laughs> uh, I've dropped my the um, the upload rate right back, but it's still dropping frames. It's either a problem on Twitch's server. I even tried a couple of the overseas servers, one in Taiwan and one in Singapore, uh, but they were doing the same thing. So it could be my internet connection. I know that my service provider have been doing some upgrades to the to the network that goes to the United States. They've been uh, adding new equipment in their back end, so that could be the problem as well today. Uh, hopefully you can see me. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure how great the stream is going to be. <laughs> if it gets too bad and I drop too many frames, then I'll just have to end the stream early. No stream for today. We'll see how we go. <laughs> I'm not an evil tetrahegon, tetrahegon from Space Mercury. Yes, I have tried considering, uh, considered threatening violence to the connection as well. Uh, yeah, I, I did switch to a different Twitch server. Uh, hopefully you guys can see me, but what I ended up doing, even the when I switched to do two different servers, I was still dropping frames in OBS. So what I've done instead is I've gone back to the Sydney server but I've cut my upload rate in half to you guys. We'll see how that performs. So can you guys see me? Can you hear me? All this sort of stuff. Um, so we'll see how we go. I'm not dropping as many frames as I was when I was streaming it uh, at 5,000 bits, but I'm streaming at about 3,000 bits now, but it's still telling me it's dropping a little, about a third of the frames, so. It's smooth now? Okay. The quality is probably not going to be great because like I said, I've cut my upload to in half to you guys that I'm streaming to, streaming with, so the quality won't be quite as good, but um, it's the best we can do with the problems we're having this morning. Again, I don't know if it's a Twitch problem or it could be my, my ISP as well, because I do know that they have been upgrading their back, back end of their network so that we get I get faster connections to the US. Um, and they could be doing that this morning, probably, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? <sighs> Who knows? Anyway, we'll push on. We'll see how we go. We'll push on. Um, so what are we doing? We are working on the house in the hollow that we're going to be creating. Uh, <laughs> it's throwing me now. I can't even think. We are making a model, a 3D model called uh, Temple of the Winds which uh, we're going to be taking into Eon View to do some beauty renders on once we're finished texturing it up. And that's what we're doing now, texturing it up. So, uh, yesterday we were working on the columns, which we finished. Today we're going to be doing a little bit more bling, adding a bit more gold to the top of the, t of the uh, domed roof here. So... Uh, I did want to actually show um, some work that Euro popped into the gallery because it was really cool. We might just do that quickly before I jump into doing some texturing. I'm just going to copy that link and we can check it out. Uh, again, if you're new to my channel, jump on the Discord server. There's the link I've just popped in chat. You can post um, links to stuff you're working on in the gallery section. I'll just pop all these links in and then we can check the uh, images out a little bit more slowly. Very nice. Such a creepy model. I really like the texturing um, that Android Lust has done here. I hope I didn't say Euro, did I? Um, uh, the Android Lust is created. This is an and Android Lust made this model, by the way. Uh, and yeah. Creepy character, but really nice texturing work too. I think Android last mentioned he's removed this uh, antenna thing from the top. So these uh, renders are not the very latest model. The antenna's gone. It's such a creepy looking thing. It's like a, I don't know, a toad man. But nice texture work, really nice. Nice painting on the texturing. Um, beautiful work. I don't know if you're in, in the chat Android Lust or if you gave up on the stream. <laughs> Which I would understand with the problems we've been having. 
So, uh, nice work, love it. And yes, guys and girls, if you want to join the Discord server, click that link, or if you're watching the stream back on a um, on one of the catch-up streams, you can always join the Discord server by clicking the blue graphic in my panels below my stream. It says join the Discord server. Okay. So we are going to be adding a little bit of gold to the um, to the top of this uh, dome. So let's jump straight in and do that, I think. Uh, let's send it over to Substance Painter. What are we calling it? Lower gold. Yeah, it's just telling me I've already got a model there. That's okay. We didn't, uh, we exported it yesterday at the end of the stream, but we didn't do any work on it, so. All right. Now, you will notice I have two textures here. Uh, that's because I want to I want to add uh, an alpha map to this outside edge. Because remember I said to you guys, oh, I'd really like to, um, to add some decorative ironwork to this piece, but I can't, I don't want to add any more mesh geometry because it's really going to start to make the pile size too big. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to add an alpha map to these gold borders so that we'll fake it. Basically, we're going to fake it. Smurberry says I should update Painter. Didn't grab the latest release yet. You should. The latest release has got a really, uh, quite, a, quite a few nice additions to it. Um, it's, worth up, it's worth updating too. And remember, if, you're sub, if you subscribe to the algorithmic um, software, you can get your updates for free, so you should always update. Lots of bug fixes and lots of new additions as well. So that's yeah, it's 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 a good um, good version to update to. So yes, that's the reason I have these two different uh, textures. One is going to be for the alpha, and one is for the rest of the um, of the gold border. Uh, the reason I have to keep them separate is number one because of the alpha, uh, because the alpha needs to be tiled, and I don't want to tile the top of the um, of the gold border. So. Uh, we're going to jump into the smart materials because I did create that gold that we used on the tops and bottoms of the columns. We can reuse that. Because why not? I just got to remember what I called it. What did I call it? It is here. I used it yesterday. Smart materials. I will find it. I will. <laughs> Rusty gold, that's the one. Uh, which one are we in at the moment? Okay, let, let's start with the top of the dome, I think. So we'll jump into this um, texture. Throw that down. Okay, let's pull back on the height because it's way too, way too bumpy. better and let's also turn off the dirt layer so I can see the gold a little bit more easily and let's add a mask here a paint layer so I can start um, adding some damage to the edges we'll choose our dirt brush Reduce the size. Uh, first things first though, I have to bake all the meshes. Yeah, OBS is borderline. It's it's in the orange and the yellow. It should be in, always in the green, but at least it's not in the red, so that's something. I must remember though, when, when I finish the stream today, to set my bitrate back to um, 5,000 so that next time I stream I'm back to normal quality and hopefully all these issues are fixed. <sighs> dear, oh dear. Alright. 
So let's just uh, start distressing up the edge here. Let me grab the pen. Um, Smurper says, according to the advanced video stats, there are zero skipped frames on my end at least. Well, that's good because <laughs> I'm looking at OBS <laughs> and OBS is complaining, complaining like nobody's business. Um, I'm wondering whether, if it might be a problem with OBS. I've read on the forum some people have had problems with OBS where it um, it starts to some t for some reason to limit your frame your um, upload to 3,000 kilobits a second. Um, I don't know <laughs> the joys of streaming. I don't know. It's been faultless though for the last month or so. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. As long as you can see me and it's not too bad, then that's the important thing, I guess. Uh, I do have to actually go um, with a friend of mine into hospital today because he's uh, has a consultation with a surgeon, so I'm going for moral support later on as well. So. Let's just hit it here and there. I won't do the entire, like, I, I don't want to distress the entire edge of the ring. We'll leave some spots. Uh, we can reuse this texture as well on the other two rings at the top of the dome. We don't have to uh, redo them because because they're so high up and they're a relatively small part of the model. Um, people are not going to notice that they're being the text is being repeated up there. So we're just we're actually going to reuse the same mesh and the same texture set. I'm sort of picking up on the uh, damage that's already on the top as well as to where I place this uh, distressing. Android Lust, it's good to see you, buddy. We, we were just looking at your work on stream that you posted on the, the um, in the gallery on the Discord. And again, I'm going to tell everyone from time to time that um, I seem to be having some problems with my net connection today. So if the stream quality is, is lower than normal, that's because I've had to knock it back because I'm having problems with the stream. We'll see how we go as to how long the stream lasts and how long I stream for because of the issues. And again, I'm not sure if it's OBS, if it's Twitch, or if it's my provider. I don't know. But it's good to see your Android last. And uh, I love the model you posted in the Discord. It looks awesome. Uh, Android Us says, I'm in 160p on my phone, so it's fine. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> if you're going to be watching in 160p, then it doesn't really matter so, so too much. Are you still having problems with your net connection as well, Android Lust? I know you mentioned yesterday you were having problems. No, uh, yeah, so sometimes it's Twitch's on Twitch's end, sometimes it's OBS, maybe. Actually, what I might do too after the stream is I might upgrade my version of OBS. I'm using not the very latest version, but the version just prior to that. Uh, I might update it and we'll see how we go for next week when we start, when I start streaming again next week. Uh, of course, it could even be a Windows update thingy because Windows did an update the other day, a cumulative update. They seem to be doing them all the time now, Microsoft. Uh, although none of the, um, in the change log, there was no mention of anything regarding networking, so I don't know. But you never know. It could be. Uh, but just to be on the safe side, like I said, I will update OBS. I may even update my NVIDIA drivers, not that that usually causes an issue.
Android lost his high smooth. <laughs> no, the photogrammetry looked great, Smurfberry. They're talking about the photogrammetry that Smurfberry posted on the Discord server. I thought it looked good. It looked fine. Um, you did, did a comparison between Agisoft and, um, or Metascan as they call it now, and Alice Vision, which is free photogrammetry software that you guys and girls can download. Uh, jump on the Discord server if you want to know more about that, because you can check it out there. Uh, Smurfberry did a comparison of a tree trunk using the same photo set between the two pieces of software. And uh, I was quite impressed I, from what I saw of, of Alice Vision. I thought the result looked pretty good. Considering it's free, you can't get better than free, as we always say. Just watching OBS here. It's, it's still in. It's still telling me it's in the red, but it's not dropping is a lot of frames. It's only dropping frames here and there. I think me knocking the stream back to three thousand kilobits a second helped a bit. Euro, it's good to see you, Euro. How are you? Says uh, the last Windows update broke my Windows update. That's why I need to reinstall. Yeah, look, those Windows updates they can be terrible. I don't know if Microsoft are doing any any Q and A before they release them, but uh, I don't think they are. I don't even think that they're reading the uh, comments of people that you know, people in the fast and slow rings that do that are willing to test stuff out for Microsoft. They tend to ignore them half the time as well. So yes, it could even be the latest Windows update that's messing around here. Although probably not, because I streamed yesterday and it was fine, and I installed the Windows update before yesterday's stream, so. I guess that rules out the Windows. I can't blame Microsoft, really. It's either going to be Twitch, but that's unlikely because I tried two other servers and I was still having the same problem. More than likely, it's either OBS or it's my ISP because I do know my ISP are doing these changes to their back end uh, with regards to links that go particularly to San, jo uh, to San Francisco which is, you know, California, where Twitch is, or San, jo San Jose, or where Twitch is, I think. So, geez, am I around? It's taking me a long time to get around this uh, ring. So it, it could be my ISP as well. We'll push through. We will push through. Android Lost says every time someone posts photogrammetry, I always want to try it. You should try it. Try Alice Vision. It's completely free. Uh, I'd hate to reinstall Windows. <laughs> I actually, re when I upgraded my machine here, I reinstalled Windows for that. I did a fresh install because it's actually nice having a fresh install of Windows. Everything seems snappy. I don't know if that's just... Um, just all in my mind, but I always think that a fresh install of an operating system always makes everything feel smoother, snappier. The computer feels faster. Uh, Yuri says, yeah, the, uh, the mesh room one looks to have more depth compared to the Agisoft, in my opinion. STF Visual v VFX, uh, thank you for the host. I do appreciate it, an ST VFX. Thank you for, for hosting the channel. It's Luca. Hello, it's Luca. It's good to see you. Again, you guys, uh, my apologies for the stream quality if you're watching me in 1080p. I'm having some problems with my ISP today, so I've had to knock back my, my upload rate to 3,000 kilobits instead of the usual five. So, yes, my apologies. And it's good. Uh, welcome, it's Luca. It's good to see you. Sniper Girl says hi and chat. Hello to you too. And STF, STF VFX says hello and hello back to you, STFX. <laughs> STF VFX. <laughs> it's good to see you. Uh, Sniper Girl says yeah, totally should be should try photogrammetry. It's fun. I say it is. Do it. Do it. Do it. Alice Vision. It's completely free. You don't have to spend a cent, guys. Not a cent. Uh, and you saw the results that Smurfberry got of the uh, comparison he did with Agisoft there in the Discord server. 
guys and girls there's a discord link as well if you want to join the build us 3d discord server you guys should uh don't post links in twitch chat unless you're a sub to my channel because you will get timed out by nightbot or one of the mods uh, but everyone can post links in the discord server and i love looking at the work you guys and girls are doing so i encourage you to post in the in the gallery section on the discord you don't have to uh, but if you want to there's also a section there where you can post your art station or links to your portfolio and that sort of thing as well as a tips and tricks chat section where um, the guys and girls that are members of the server have posted interesting and useful tutorials and things like that so. I'm good thanks sniper girl um, STF VFX says it's fine I just did also some 3D texturing so I thought you were the right choice to host oh cool so what uh, you, you would you were doing some texturing in Substance Painter as well? Or are you just doing texturing in maybe Photoshop or Mari, which is what I'm going to be using as well very shortly. Uh, not today, but soon. I'm going to be taking some of these textures into Mari as well. So, Okay, I think we're back to the beginning, finally. <laughs> and uh, it's Lucas says, don't worry, since I discovered STFVFX, I'm used to low quality. <laughs> oh how mean how mean <laughs> oh you know it's just a fact of life we always you know we either have a, a potato internet connection like i'm from australia so my internet connection here is is, is potato quality until recently because i've just up, had the nbn install which is a national broadband network run by the government so it's like a fiber network uh, so which has improved things dramatically except for today <laughs> Um, <laughs> Chag, Chag says hello and hello back to you too, Chag. <laughs> I'm not going to try and pronounce the rest of it, I can't. I'll call you Chag. <laughs> it's good to see you. Hi, Android Lost says hey to Chag. Sniper Girl says doing freelance, currently looking at getting a Sony A6500 when I get done with the uh, freelance for photogrammetry. Nice camera, mirrorless I believe. Very nice camera. A very expensive camera in this country, about two grand. But a very nice camera. Uh, STF VFX says Substance Painter a bit. Uh, I made a lot of procedural textures in V-Ray. Oh, okay, I use V-Ray as well. As I, I'm, I work in Archbiz, I used to work in games and then I also worked in film. And we use V-Ray for the studio. So I'm, I'm familiar with V-Ray. I love the V-Ray rendering engine. I use Max too, by the way, 3D Studio Max. And Chag says, Chag is fine. We agree. Oh, that's right. We did agree on that. I do remember now. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God Chag is fine. Um, all right. Sniper Girl says, uh, it's uh, mirrorless. It has image stabilization, which is nice. Normally do a lot of hand holding when I do photogrammetry. Yeah, um, one of, a good tip is to actually use a tripod when you're doing photogrammetry to keep, get a nice still image, unless you've got a good camera, that, like the Sony there with the image stabilization, with good image stabilization, uh, using a tripod is a good way to go. What I find too is a really good thing to do if, you have, if, you, if you've got a camera or even your phone, you're doing photogrammetry and, you, and you've got a bit of a shake. What I like to do is, let me sort of stand up so I can show you what I mean. Get your elbows and dig them into your sides. So you're holding your phone, but your elbows are sort of dug right into your sides. So you sort of use your elbows to steady your hands. So with that, that I find that's a good way to work as well. So just push, push in with your elbows against your chest or your arms against your chest. And that helps really steady your hands. And that's what I've found anyway. That's if you don't have a tripod. Tripod is the best way to go. Uh, tripod can be fiddly though too because if you want to get different shots from different angles uh, of a model you've got to keep adjusting your tripod so that can be a bit fiddly. Um, Sniper Girl says don't normally go places with a tripod. <laughs> you should. I take a backpack with me so I've got my camera and my tripod which sort of telescopes down to a 
Well, it fits in a backpack just. Uh, I, I shove it in my backpack and carry it around that way. Uh, Sniper Girl says, from what I was reading, it has five axes image stabilization. So some YouTube vid, saw some YouTube vids and it works pretty good. I'm sure it does. Uh, it's, like I said, it, it is an expensive camera, so I would hope it worked well, the image stabilization. Um, I do have stabilization in my DSLR as well, but it's not a Sony, it's a, um, a Fuji. I bought it a while ago, I actually should think about upgrading it at some stage as well. Uh, Smokery says, really, I don't think any of the uh, A6 series models had stabilization. Um, Smokery says, but I didn't really look closely at them. Yes, well, there you go, Sniper Girl has checked out the full spec sheet. Uh, Legmog, it's good to see you, buddy. How have you been? How's things? What have you, what have you been up to? How many dates have you been on? Legmog's a bit of a player, by the way. It's good to see you. Hope you're well. Because <laughs> uh, like last time Legmog was on, we were talking about um, about a girl he was corresponding with via phone, via, via mobile. She was she was a bit demanding, a little bit demanding. Just just hitting it up here and there. I just want a couple of areas here that I want to overpaint. Okay, let us now add back the dirt layer. And now we can start to bring back some of the gold. Uh, most of this is actually going to be hidden. If we look at the model, just give Max a second. Substance and Max, because they both use the DirectX viewport, it takes them a second to jump between each other. I don't know why. It's just the way it is. There we go. Uh, yeah, most of this is actually going to be hidden underneath of the dome. So let me give Max something to hold on to so I can do my rotation. Uh, so yeah, most of it is actually going to be hidden under the dome. We do see a good amount of it. Oh, actually, no, this is the one we're looking at, this lighter one. But I want to reuse the texture for the uh, top piece of the uh, dome here as well. So I do want to make sure I paint in all the way. Uh, Sniper Girl is showing uh, the spec sheet of the Sony camera we've been talking about. And Legmog says, well, unfortunately, the London date got postponed. I told you all about that, right? You did. Uh, did you tell me about the postponement? Yes, you told me about the correspondence with postponing the date. You did tell me about that. Uh, with the girl from Belgium. Belgium. Mm. Uh, Legmog says, yes, long random story short. I arranged a date with a girl I met from a, from a Twitch chat. Oh no, don't be one of those people, Legmog on Twitch. Please, please don't be one of those people. <laughs> was, was she in your chat? Because Legmog's a streamer as well, who streams occasionally on Twitch. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, and that Sniper Girl says, make sure she's not a complete psycho. That's very true. <laughs> Oh, uh, wow. Wow. Um, I'm going to jump into the dirt layer here and I'm, I'm going to add a paint mask. Right, I'm adding a paint layer, which is going to be a mask. Uh, Legmog says, yes, I don't usually tend to use Twitch for the purpose of getting dates. Yeah, no, I would not advise people, if you're a streamer, to do that. I think uh, I think that, that that's best left avoided that sort of thing uh, so what I'm doing here now is I'm just I'm bringing back some of the gold let me if I can angle this properly you can probably see it a bit better so yeah what I'm doing is removing some of the dirt to bring back some of the gold I mean I don't want to remove all of the um, all of the dirt I do want you know some dirt but I want the gold to be noticeable because it'll look really nice when we do start doing renders in Eon view the light will pick up the gold reflection really nicely, so it'll look cool in a render. So that's the reason I'm, I'm pulling back on some of the dirt. Um, Sniper Girl says, yeah, sure you don't. <laughs> Smokeberry says, make sure to buy uh, like one or two extra batteries, Sniper Girl. 
Oh, he's talking, they're talking about the camera. I thought they were talking about, I thought they were being rude. So it shows you where my mind goes. And uh, it's Luca. Thank you for following the channel. I do appreciate the follow. So thank you. It's Luca. Um, Smurfberry says mirrorless equals power hog. Oh, well, that's very true, actually. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. Uh, yeah, make sure you do take spare batteries. I, I actually generally do as well. I have a, like a set that's in the camera and another set, a spare set as well. Uh, the same goes for the memory card you use in the camera. I always make sure I take a really big one. <laughs> and I have a spare as well in case I run out of room and wanted to keep taking photos. Because you guys know if you're doing photogrammetry, you get into hundreds or thousands of photos before you know it. If you're doing a, a large object or a lot of objects. Um, 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 um. Legmog says, this just kind of randomly happened. I was in a stream and the streamer had this girl from Belgium in the voice chat. She had a super nice voice, so I said that in chat. A few minutes later, she says, oh, I'm looking at your bods. You seem nice too. <laughs> Next thing you know, uh, connected on Instagram and dates being organized. Well, I guess you're not being in Europe in the UK, Legmog, you're not too far from Belgium. It's doable. Wouldn't be doable for me all the way in Australia, but it's probably doable for you. Um, just be really careful. <laughs> so I just want, I want all you guys and girls to stay safe online. That's, so just be careful with anybody you meet online, okay? So just, just show some caution. You know, you, you hear those horror stories of people meeting on uh, online and and going to visit this person and coming back through the airport and getting busted because this person stuck drugs in their luggage or something. You know what? You know what I mean. That sort of thing. Just, just be careful. But I hope it works out well for your leg bone. If you've been on Instagram, you obviously know what she looks like, which is a plus. <laughs> Sniper Girl says, uh, talking about cameras, thought we were talking about vibrators. That's what I thought too. When Smurfberry mentioned the batteries, my mind went straight there. Uh, because maybe it's because of that, you know, the Fildo thing, because that that's the, my abbreviated uh, name for my my emotes is Fildo, because it's Fildo's 3D and which abbreviated to the first six letters, so it's Bildo. So my mind goes there immediately anyway. Um, Smurfery says a regular DSLR has much better power efficiency. Yeah, but it's not that sweet mirrorless thing that we, that we all want, um, Smurfery. Because, yeah, mirrorless cameras, they give you beautiful images. Uh, Smurfery says, I'm sure they're... They're fine, practically the same thing. Uh, Smurfer, he says also he was going to say burn. <laughs> uh, Smur Sniper Girl says actually internally there's a huge difference. Selfless One, hello Selfless One, it's good to see you. How are you? We're doing some texturing to the uh, gold bordering on the top of our dome. And again, I'm going to keep saying it. My apologies for the stream quality today because... Uh, I'm having a stream at half my bit rate because of problems I'm having either with my ISP or OBS. I'm not sure which. One of the two. We're going to persevere and push through because, you know, that's just how we are. <laughs> um, Smurfery says, <laughs> I'm not going to say that, Smurfery. Drugs in the bum. <laughs> I did say it. There you go. Uh, Smurfery says, I mean in terms of image quality, not hardware. And Smurfberry Legmog says, uh, but aside from that, I've been uh, burying myself in work. I'm currently becoming a bit of a Howard Hughes-style hermit with my pilot episode. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah, again, Legmog is working on a pilot series. He's doing in uh, Cinema 14. Uh, again, jump on the Discord server if you want to check out some of uh, Legmog's stuff, as well as every other person that's a member on the Discord server. We've got quite a few now. Um, and you can post your own stuff there as well. Uh, but that's good to hear. Are you keeping up the gym work as well, Legmon? Because uh, you were doing your gym at earlier, uh, like one in the morning, which is a bizarre time to be going to the gym in my opinion, but anyway. All of you... 
uh, selfless one says doing well good good to hear yes no I'm doing well as well uh, I've been working hard there's a lot of work on at the studio at the moment so I've been working working till two or three in the morning <laughs> I, I told you guys my schedule my sleep schedule yesterday I get up at 6 30 a.m. I work through until I, I, I generally I have a copy and watch a bit of uh, news in the morning until probably about nine then I work from nine till about one then I have lunch then I go to bed for a nap for an hour uh, and then I work again from 2 till about 2 in the morning, 2 or 3 in the morning. And do it all again, getting up at 6.30 the next day. That's okay, because I love what I do. It's not a problem. And I get to work from home a lot of the time, so that, that makes it bearable. Although I do have to go into the studio for meetings, so... It's, it, I'm not always at home. I do have a desk in the studio, in, at work. <laughs> Uh, Snappy Girl says, if we end up talking about B.O.B., uh, then we're talking about my oh, battery-operated boyfriend. <laughs> uh, uh, Snappy Girl says, hi again. Leg Mug says, I have three minutes of footage done. Oh, that, that's pretty good, three minutes of footage. Uh, I'll post next week as I'm just uh, at a pivotal bit which is not yet complete. I predict next week the first entire scene should be near complete. Well, I look forward to seeing it because I'm, I, I saw the, like, you know, you've been showing your work off since you've been working on it. You've been working on it for, well, it'll be, what, over 12 months now, Lake Mom, I imagine, on and off, because, you know. <laughs> uh, so I saw the um, the environment renders you did and I saw the animation you, you showed us, the character animation stuff uh, a couple of weeks ago. So I look forward to seeing it. Uh, no, Android Lust says you do have voice actors, or are you doing all the voices yourself? But like Mog says, um, at the moment I'm using my own voice for placeholder audio for animation purposes, but I will be hiring out voice actors for the real thing. Uh, like Mog says, I did try Fiverr, but really you need to be in the studio. Yeah, you do, uh, particularly with voice stuff, unless it's dialogue that's not emotive. Like you know, if it's just like a a talk over dialogue then maybe you could get away with Fiverr and not having a person in the studio but I know for games when we did gameplay voiceover stuff we actually were with the voiceover guys and girls uh, we sort of wrote it they were given a script as to what we wanted them to say uh, and then when they were saying it we were with them as they were doing it making any corrections that needed to be done as it was being recorded So yeah, Fiverr, it can be good to get some cheap um, work stuff done, like if you want a logo maybe or you know, that sort of thing. But don't expect great things from Fiverr. It's cheap for a reason. Um, through no fault of the artists that, that do the work on Fiverr, it's just that it's very hard to do some types of work unless you're actually physically there with the person. Doing it via the net can be can be difficult, uh, and if you do freelance work online, that's you're always going to run into that issue as well. People expect a certain thing, unless you make your instructions amazingly specifically clear. Then generally, what you get back is not what you had in mind, because this person doing the work for you can't read your mind. Uh, so yeah, it can be difficult. Android Dust says, "I remember you had placeholder voice. It's going to be nice with voice acting. It will be because the animation looked cool." Uh, Legmox says yes it's the nature of the pie of the beast the voice actors are good but what you get back has so many issues which could have easily been nipped in the bud if you were there yeah very true okay I think we've removed um, all of the dirt from that so I'm going to move on to the front of this now now again the reason I've split this up into two textures is because I want to add an alpha map to this front edge uh, I couldn't do that if I was using the one texture because the alpha map would then be applied to the entire uh, ring, uh, as well as the fact that I want to tile the alpha map. So my alpha map texture is quite small, well, let's say it's like 256 by 256, but I'm going to be tiling it like 50 times around the outside edge. The reason I'm using an alpha and not uh, a mesh is because, <laughs> again, I want to try and avoid uh, increasing the file size for this model because I'm going to be selling it on my website online and um, I don't want to have a 10 gigabyte file for people to download so 
that's the other reason I'm not going to use a mesh. But it, it it would really look cool with a bit of detailing up there. So that's why I'm going to use an alpha map. Uh, Legmug says, yes, I have a big Word document with detailed descriptions of every line delivery. And with the results, uh, I couldn't help but think, dang, did you even read my Word document? That's the other thing, of course, too. You have to bear in mind a lot of the people that uh, do do creative work on Fiverr are not English-speaking background people. A lot of them come from places like Singapore and Thailand, uh, India. So the English isn't their first language, so that can be an issue as well with Fiverr. They don't understand because their English isn't great. Uh, but that's the reason they can afford to do the work so cheaply is because they live in places where the cost of living is so low compared to, you know, the Western world anyway. Uh, but that's generally the, generally the reason that you have problems communicating, getting, you, getting your message across to, to sometimes. All right, so uh, we're going to be using the same gold material here for the front. So again, I'm just going to jump into my smart materials and throw down that uh, gold smart material I created, which is again, where is it? Where is it? This one. Let's make sure I'm on the right layer, which is this one. Okay, so we have our gold layer there. Again, I'm going to turn off the dirt layer just temporarily. And again, I'm going to go through and distress just the edge here. Um, I'm also going to just re reduce the uh, height so it's not quite so bumpy. There we go. Uh, Legmark says, yeah, for the uh, for these artists on fiber, it's so often is a chump change, quick and easy thing on the on the side for them. Yeah, which is quite understandable. You know, if they're only charging you whatever twenty bucks or something for it, then you can't expect a lot. <laughs> Then to spend a hundred hours on it. Uh, so, like so for the voice actors, it's literally a hit record, say the lines, uh, and any long word documents be damned. <laughs> That's right. Uh, they won't give you revisions either, generally. Uh, usually usually with, with online work, if you're doing freelance for someone, at least I do anyway, uh, I, I give a certain number of revisions of the work. They don't tend to do that on Fiverr.com. They say, this is, a, this is the cost, no revisions. Or if you want revisions, the cost is a little bit more, but they generally only give you one revision anyway. Uh, I, I at least try to, to allow for maybe um, three revisions of my work. I try, depending on, on what the project is really. Let us add a paint layer. Let us reduce the size of our brush. Paolo Del, Del Cabo, Paolo, good to see you, Paolo. How are you? Are you well? Heidi, you back? And it's good to see you, Paolo. Um, Snappy Girl says the leg mode can see that. They probably have several different scripts, and, fast, and faster they can get through it, the better. Yeah. Again, because they don't charge a huge amount, you know, it's not like they're charging you thousands of dollars. That's, that's the reason that, um, you know, that the work is so cheap. So that, that, and that's the reason they can't afford to take, to, to spend too long on that, uh, on one project. Now I know we have a line here, but that's going to work to our advantage actually when, when I, um, when I actually add the alpha map, that's going to actually, ha uh, be hidden by the, uh, the alpha map so uh, i'm not concerned with over painting the line we're seeing here because it's not going to be noticeable you'll see what i mean in a minute when i bring it back into 3d studio max and we add the upper map no uh, but i do just want to distress it up just a little bit along the edge uh Smurfberry says, I know a guy who wanted to be a voice actor these days. He's a, a blacksmith, but I'm sure he'd record some lines if you ask nicely with some Benjamins. He's a blacksmith, like, like, like metal. <laughs> well, that's cool. Um... Legmog says, well, now most Fiverr situations allow for one revision or some offer more than 
more at an extra price. But still, for good voice acting, you need to be in the studio with the person. Fiverr just won't cut it. Yeah, and I, I would suggest that's going to be it's going to be like that for a lot of design stuff as well, not just the voiceover, but design work. If you're getting it done on Fiverr, unless it's done something very simple, you're always better to be um, better to be able to meet with the person, or at least you choose a freelancer that will do revisions for you more than a few revisions, because I don't tend to do more than a couple on Fiverr. So, but simple stuff as Fiverr is still fine, and it's cheap. It's cheap to get stuff done. But yeah, just bear that in mind. Most most of them aren't Eng- English speakers, so that can be uh, an issue with communication as well. And a, a lot of them won't do a huge amount of revisions because they are selling their stuff so cheap, which I get. I fully fully understand that. Can't afford to be revising stuff for people if you're um only making you know ten bucks on the on the uh, sale. Or, so. Enjoying my Twitch, Pele? Well, thank you. I'm enjoying having you here as well. Um, again, my apologies for the quality of the stream today. I'm, <laughs> I know I sound like a broken record for you guys that were here from the beginning, but uh, for, for anyone popping in that's new, yeah, I'm having problems with the stream with either OBS or my ISP today. I'm not sure which. So I've had to knock back the stream quality. My apologies if it's, if it's not great. Uh, hopefully next week when I'm back, it will all be back to normal. Actually, when I finish the stream today, because I get Twitch to uh, to save my streams, uh, and I had to start and stop the stream so many times this morning, I'm going to have to go back and delete like probably five different 20 second streams of me starting and stopping all the time. Legmark says, "Well, the other thing is, it's Smurf, is Smurf. You, my characters are all kind of." Bart Simpson aged kids, I guess in the uh, 9 to 11-ish age range, so I'm uh, mainly either looking at young children voice actors or females with squeaky voices. Yeah, that's what I want to know too. Snappy Girl is asking, how does one go from um, from voice acting to being a blacksmith? Uh, I knew a girl who did voice acting, but she was studying archaeology. <laughs> um, I've lost track with her recently, but so I don't know if she continued with the voice acting. Uh, but she was doing voice acting but and studying archaeology at uni, which I found amusing. I thought it was interesting to go from voice acting and archaeology at the same time. Um, Smurfery says, by not getting any voice acting jobs, well, that's a good reason. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's another school shooting Sniper Girl is mentioning. I, I saw that on the news just prior to me going live on stream that there was another school shooting in the United States. Terrible, terrible. I think seven kids or something were killed. I know you love your guns in the United States, but um, you have so many school shootings. you really got to do something about your, something about a bit more gun control, I think. It shouldn't be easy for young kids to get hold of a gun. Kids don't need guns. I'm sorry, but they don't need guns. You don't need a gun if you're a child. You just don't. I know if you're an adult, you might want one because it's in your constitution. But if you're you're a child, you do not need a gun. So they shouldn't be so easily easy to get hold of if if you're a kid. Uh, I'm thankful in this country we have really strict gun laws and we can't carry guns. I'm I'm happy about that. And thank you for the host as well, Smokeberry Barbecue. I do appreciate the hosts of the channel, so thank you, Smokeberry. Yes, another school shooting, Logmog, another one. Seems to be never-ending. Sniper Girl says, just got on YouTube, was going to look up more reviews for the 6500 and saw a news video on it. Yeah. Actually, I watched a live stream the other day because I was just watching YouTube uh, 
you know, occasionally I like to browse YouTube, check out what, what's new and interesting to watch. And uh, there was a live stream of um, of Elon Musk SpaceX launch, and the rocket that they just launched. The they were launching a uh, a Middle Eastern satellite, I believe. And so I watched that, and I watched the um, boosters return back to Earth. It was very cool, very very cool. Watching the satellite being released and the boosters coming back down, mega cool. And I got that as like an alert on YouTube, a live alert. Seven injured, one killed, sniper girls. Oh, seven injured, one killed. Okay, I got mixed up. I thought seven were killed. Okay. I'm glad you agree with me, sniper girl. Uh, I'm all for guns. The sniper, sniper girl says, I'm all for guns. I'm okay with them as long as uh, there's a background check and parents are required by law to have locks on the guns. Yeah. Smokeberry says, because I've been shopping for camera stuff for the last week, I was searching around and found a video of a guy tearing, ranting about lens filters. Well, you know, that's that's the place for reaction videos, YouTube. Yeah, everybody loves reaction videos on YouTube. Uh, actually, it's, it's good for reviews. If you want to buy hardware and you're not sure whether it's good or not, um, Watching reviews on YouTube can be good, depending on who's doing the review. Also, you want to make sure that they're not being paid to review it, and give it a good give it a good score because they're being paid to review it. Uh, but the, the the Sony cameras are known to be good. The mirrorless one, all, all Sony cameras actually are known to be good. They've been in the um in the industry of making digital cameras for a very long time, and they make very good ones. Uh, Smurfberry says he then took a rock to his lens, to his camera lens and scratched it up to prove a point. Wow, that's devotion. I wouldn't do that. Camera lenses. Lenses can be incredibly expensive. Some lenses are more expensive than the camera. I would never scratch up a lens on purpose. Uh, Paolo says, Phil, one question. I had to choose between V-Ray or, Mar v -ray or Marmoset to render my animation. Uh... Can you provide an answer? Oh, if, if you had to choose between the two, uh, I would choose V-Ray, simply because you've got a lot more options with V-Ray than Marmoset. Having said that, V-Ray can be difficult to use, whereas Marmoset is much, much easier to get a render out of. Um, V-Ray will be better in the long run though, particularly if you want to start doing renders of other sorts of stuff. Uh, but it can it can be a bit of a steep learning curve, V-Ray, because it, it's quite a complicated piece of uh, software, rendering software. Um, so to get the best benefit, yeah, it, it, you're going to have to spend a little bit of time learning it. There's there's full documentation on Chaos's website, Chaos Group, who's the company that make V-Ray. Uh, it's all documented very well. So, you, you know, what, but yeah, V-Ray would be my choice personally. Um, because it'll be more useful in the long run. It's got, you can give, you can buy V-Ray too as uh, on a student license, which uh, it only costs I think about a hundred dollars a year. The license for V-Ray if you're a student. Um, so it's certainly somebody to consider. H having said that, though, Marmoset is much easier to use. No problem. Smokeberry says, couldn't see the scratches in the resulting photos at all. Oh, okay. Uh, Legmog says, it really comes to something when one's reaction to a seven injured, one killed school shooting as well. That's not too bad, all things considered. Messed up times, I know. But we hear about them so often. And there's uh, some terrible, terrible shootings in the US. Like that one a few years ago with the with the young school children, the really young kids. I mean, where quite a few of them were killed, I and mean, that was just terrible. These were young young children that just, you know, were innocent victims of some deranged kid with a gun.
Uh, Sniper Girl says, they've been looking up recommended lenses for photogrammetry and they're expensive. Yes, they are. Camera lenses are incredibly expensive for good ones. Um, Sniper Girl says, mean, I mean, Marmoset is fast and easy for animations, good quality, and it's real time. Yeah, look, there's nothing wrong with Marmoset, personally, but I would still choose V-Ray because it's more, um, you can do more with it after the fact. More, it's, it's more versatile, and I really like uh, the quality of a V-Ray render. I think that looked great. Uh, the studio uses V-Ray exclusively. Uh, we, we, I am trialling um, Corona Render at the moment as well, because because V-Ray is quite difficult to use, and some of the um, some of the junior artists that I meant uh, have a problem <laughs> using V-Ray. <laughs> Uh, so I've been looking into um, Corona Render as well, just to make their life a little bit easier so they don't cry because they're having such a hard time. But once you learn it, it's fine. It's just, just learning it. That's a hard bit. Snowberry says, uh, if it's something simple like a single character model and you're showing off animation sets and run cycles, then Marmoset can say, yeah, look, Marmoset is great. I'm not, not knocking Marmoset at all. Don't, please don't, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Marmoset is a good program. Um, I just think that if you're going to, if you if you, if you've got the choice between V-Ray and Marmoset, I would choose V-Ray because you can do a lot more with V-Ray in, in a 3D program than just the Marmoset program. So that would be my choice. Just I'm, I'm thinking not the current project I'm doing that I need it for, but what it could be useful for further down the line. Uh, Smurfery says, but if it's a full environment with several characters interacting and such, then Marmoset is going to be less and less able to uh, handle your needs, like a short film. Uh, Paolo says, yep, I want to do animations, not for video games. And Paolo says, V-Ray Dirt Node, V-Ray Dirt Node, that's right. V-Ray Dirt Note for the win. Uh, Smurfberry says, Marmoset doesn't support every possible thing you might want to do with animations, so you'd want to check the feature set. Uh, Smurfberry, a, a few of the guys and girls actually use Marmoset, so they know what they're talking about. Uh, Smurf says, but on that note, someone wants to watch movies, so I must cut out early. No problem, Smurfberry. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next week, hopefully. I'm back on Monday uh, 5 p.m. live next week. You have a great weekend, Smurfberry Barbecue. Uh, Legmark says, So today I animated a fast and furious style shot where the camera shoots into the exhaust port of my character's hoverboard, uh, flies through the inner tubing into the engine, and then back out again. Good God, that was a logistic challenge. Sounds like a cool shot, though, Legmark. Does sound like a cool shot. Um... So, buttons. So, buttons, no. <laughs> uh, I think that's enough distressing. I don't need to do the bottom edge here because I'm pretty sure... Let me just check. I'm pretty sure that that bottom edge is not going to be seen. Again, Max just taking a little a while to jump between the uh, substance and Max here. Oh, do I see the bottom edge, actually? Let me check. I actually do see the bottom edge. Um, 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 um. Uh, we might give it a quick um, distress, I think. Just a quick one. Because we're going to reuse the same texture three times on the three different rings on top of the dome. So I want to make sure it's, it's it looks as good as it can. It's textured up well. Uh, Legmonk says, yeah, this is a real money shot. It's the uh, bad guy's hoverboard. Uh, we fly into it and seeing the inner core area going into a meltdown. Then we zoom back out and it's going to explode as the baddie is shooting down a steep hill. Sounds like a cool action shot. And like I said, I look forward to seeing it. No, some what I find amusing with with just the general public, not 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 you, me, and everybody else on my channel here watching. You know, we do three D, we and animation. 
we know how much work goes into it, but it amuses me. Most people don't realize just how much work goes into making a model or doing animation. It's a lot of work. Most people think it's simple, but it's really not. It's not, not that the work is difficult to do, but it's so time consuming. At least that's what I found. I found people just don't, don't, don't appreciate just how long something takes to make. Uh, I guess it's fair enough because they don't, if they don't do it themselves then they have no idea how long it's going to take. But yeah. Lingmark says, got to dust off my Turbulence FD plugin, which uh, is all to do with smoke fire simulation for that explosion. Cool. And again, I use uh, V-Ray Phoenix to do, I'm going to be using V-Ray Phoenix to do the red beauty renders particle effects for the Temple of the Winds here that we're, um, we're working on. It does really cool fire and smoke as well. So I do like V-Ray for a few reasons. I like the renderer, I like the particle system. The particle system is really cool. Called Phoenix. Uh, Max has built-in particle system, so you don't need a third-party program to do particles in Max, but um, because the studio, uh, part of the license, most of the software I use, the studio is the one that purchases and, and purchase the license for, and I, they do that because I work from home. I can use it at home, uh, so I don't actually have to pay for a lot of the licenses of my software. The studio pays for it all. And that's the reason I use Phoenix is simply because it's part of the license with um, the studio and uh, Chaos Group. So I'm about to pay. I'd use Max's built-in particles. Unless I could get it cheap. Like I said, if you're a student, you can buy it cheap anyway. And that's not true. Even if I had to pay, I'd probably pay for, for V-Ray because it is so good. Android Lust says, don't talk about it if you're not going to post spoilers to the Discord. That's right. We want to see, we want to see spoilers. We want, we want to see that video footage. Uh, but don't rush it. Take your time. You know what the general public are like, Legmog. They want stuff and they want it now. Andrew, uh, Andrew Lust says, uh, it would be criminal of me to post the shot so far without the explosion. That's right. We, we want to see that explosion. It's half the fun is the explosion. We don't see the explosion. Android Lost says, I want to start animating again. I just can't get out of making characters. <laughs> you guys have seen my animation skills. I'm not, I'm not going to be uh, threatening Legmog's job anytime soon with my animation skills. I remember saying I'm terrible. Some, some might, uh, but I won't. Um, but I, I never claim to be an animator. I, I can get the job done if it needs to be done and I have no one else to do it for me, but... Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't pick me as the first choice to do animation. I wonder if that's why I have so many friends that are animators. I just thought about that. I have a lot of friends in different a lot of different industries, but I particularly have a lot of people I know that are animators for some reason. Uh, Legmog says, I should also explain that so far I'm only working on the animations. So this is a, a big race scene. It's only taking place in a boring grey placeholder environment. That's what I like what you showed last time. Yeah. Uh, you're all, you'll all have to imagine this majestic but dazzling cityscape yourselves. Well, they don't have to imagine Legmog. They can see the images you posted on the Discord months and months back. If they really want to, they can check out the uh, the city you created. That's going to be the background for the animation shots. 
I'm sure it's all going to look very cool when it's all put together. So I did love what you did with the city. I think we're nearly back around to the beginning again, I think. Go up a little bit higher just here, why not? <laughs> I thought we were nearly back around, it looks like we've got a bit still here. Actually, there is, uh, you know, if I was to, to um, think, I'm looking at OBS freaking out here with the um, with the bandwidth upload. If I was to hazard a guess, because I was doing some web development work yesterday, not yesterday, the day before, and I was uploading stuff to the server, I noticed that I was having problems of doing an upload to the server. So that tells me the issue is more than likely my ISP doing some some work on their um on their links to the US because the server I was uploading to was in the US as well. Uh, and I did notice that it was taking, uh, like all I was doing was uploading style sheets, CSS style sheets and stuff, and it was taking a long time to upload a, a style sheet. And that was the other day, so that, that was a problem with my ISP. I have a feeling today's problems are my ISP as well. Because I do know that they are updating the back, the, uh, the, the, the major links that they that come out of Sydney to the US, they're, they're updating all their equipment. I will jump on their forum after the stream, or after I get back from the hospital actually, and I'll check to see if any, anybody else has been complaining about it, or if they've posted an outage or something. But we're muddling through, you guys can see me, that's okay. Oh yeah, no, it's not for me though. Like a good friend of mine is um, is having a serious pr a medical problem, seriously ill, uh, and I'm help. I'm going to hospital with him to give him support uh, while he meets with the surgeon to discuss the surgery he he might might need. Um, I mentioned it to the guys. I, I don't talk about it a lot because you know he's a really dear close friend of mine. It's very upsetting. It was shocking to hear the news uh, when he was diagnosed at the hospital. He needs this, um, this major operation, so I'm, I'm, I'm going with him to the hospital this afternoon after the stream to uh, while he meets with the surgeon so, to find out what they're going to do. As I was saying yesterday, uh, life is such a fragile thing. We take it for granted, I think. We, we take being healthy for granted. Uh, it's not until you get sick that you realise just how fragile things can be. Yeah, yeah. We must be nearly back to the beginning by now. Come on. Let me just see how much we've got left to do. Oh, that's we're up to there, so we're nearly we are nearly back there now. Almost, almost. Uh, Legmark says, well, he has all my best wishes coming across from across the pond. Well, thank you. Yeah. He's in good hands. The surgeon is, um, is a very good surgeon, so. So we'll find out exactly what, what's involved and when the operation will be. Andrew Luss says, yeah, we do take life for granted. We do, which is, you know, we, we lead busy lives and we've got work or we've got school and we've got family and it's easy to sort of, to to take things for granted, to, to take friends and family for granted and 
just to take your health for granted. You know, you don't realize until you're sick how how good it feels to, to feel well. And it's the same with, um, you know, anything life-threatening. You don't realize just how fragile life can be until you're faced with, uh, with some life-threatening illness. I, was gonna, I was, wasn't sure that I'd started my music back up when I first started restreaming, but it is playing, it's okay. Gotta have that music, gotta have that music. Although you guys are probably sick of my my music, because I can't hear it, of course. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're almost, almost, almost back to the beginning. That's the beginning there, so let's just fill this bit in through here. Okay, now I want to add the dirt layer back, and then I'm going to start removing some of it. So we'll add on the dirt. We will add another paint layer and let's increase our brush size and start painting in back in some of the gold. Uh, Android Lost says, my brother recently had a kidney transplant. Sometimes you think how fragile the human body is until something happens to you or someone you're close to. That's very true. Yep. We do. Well, we, we take we take being healthy for granted, you know. We don't think about it until we're sick or someone we know gets sick. And I guess that's just part of being, you know, inundated with life, isn't it? We just don't think about it. So many other things to think about or worry about. Uh, I do want to bring back uh, uh, quite a bit of the bright gold here because again, this is on the outside edge. And when we do the renders, it's going to get a nice reflection in the render, in the beauty renders. So we don't want it to be too, too deep. A lot of this, um, will be picked up by the alpha map, the wrought iron alpha map, so. One big, big dome edge. Takes forever to get around to the other side there. I think we're back to the beginning now. Okay. All right, that should be good. Got some distressing, got some gold, and got some dirt. Let's do a save. Let me pop my pen back down. Um, they're named correctly, so let's do an export here. Now I'm going to save both of these out in 4K because I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to reuse this texture. Well, I'm only using the texture once. I'm not make, creating multiple copies of it, so uh, I'd rather be too big than too small as well.
Okay. Again, let's make sure we've saved it. Let's jump back into 3D Studio Max. Wait for Max, there we go. All right. Now let's set up the shader for it, uh, which will be this one. So the first thing I want to do is uh, create a DirectX shader. Get rid of that one. Let us change it to interactive and load up the normal map. Which will be in the, no, not the textures directory in the temp directory. I must remember to copy them out of the temp directory when I finish the project. Uh, Dome ring upper gold, I think that's the one there. No. Dome ring lower gold, that's the one there. Uh, Sniper Girl says to Android Lost, wow, sorry to hear that. Uh, yeah, how is he doing? Actually, I'm being a bit rude, aren't I, Sniper Girl? Thank you for asking him. Yeah, so how's he doing? Is he okay? <clears throat> um, what, 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 what is this map I'm loading in? I'm loading in the normal map. Okay. Uh, not the alpha, we want this one. And the color map. I must remember to make sure I change that to override on the, um, on the gamma here, I forgot. And same for this one. Uh, now let's load up the metallic, which is this one, yes. And the roughness, which should be this one. Uh, Andrew Lost says he's fine. Uh, what is crazy is that my mum donated her kidney. Wow, that is... Well, good on your mum for doing that. I mean... That's a problem with um, any any time you need a donation. If you're relying on on the donor system, it can take a long time to get a, a, a donor kidney, a, a donor organ. Uh, so it was nice of your mum to do that. Well, we yeah. Um, I think it's this one. Yes, and I'm just pulling in the bitmap texture here, so. I can see what that DirectX shader is. So I'm going to pump that to there and that to there. And I'm just going to change the shader. So I'm going to make it unique, open up the uh, shader node tree. And I'm going to add three lights to it. So. Instead of one light, we're going to go with three. No, not 13. Three. Um, we must make sure we export it. I'm going to call this one uh, Dome Ring Gold One. Android Lost says, this happened a week ago, but yes, he was waiting for a donor for a few years. Oh, okay. Ah, yeah, it, can, it does. It, it can take years and years, and sometimes you can die before you actually get a donor. Because it does take so long. It's because so few of the population actually register to be, to be organ donors when they die. So. Yes, on the list for that long, a sniper girl says it was a long time. Uh, Andrew Doss says, yeah, I believe it was at least one and a half or two years. Mm. Wow. Okay, let's add another DirectX shader because we need one that's going to be used where we're using the alpha map. Uh, again, let's change it from HLSL to interactive. Uh, let's load up the normal map, which will be this one now. Color map, which will be this one. Re metallic, which will be this one. Uh, 
and the roughness, which will be this one, I believe. Yes. Uh, I must remember to turn the the maps on because they default to being turned off. So I must set that to one on the normal, one on the color, one on the metallic, and one on the roughness. We'll do the same for this one. So want to make this one unique as well and we're going to add change this to be uh, three lights instead of one export it and this one can be dome ring gold 2 Okay, let's pull in the bitmap so we know what the texture is we're looking at, which is this one here. Okay, then we're going to plug that one into here. And plug that one into here. Alright. Let me just assign that material to that's already assigned, that's good. Uh, but let's add the alpha map now. So let's plug in the opacity. I'm glad things worked out for the best too, Sniper Girl. Uh, Andrew Lust says, Kidney Party changed his life in a good way, in a bad, and bad. He was probably going to be an alcoholic if his kidneys didn't say no. Uh, How's your mum doing too, Sniper Girl? Yeah, how's your mum doing? Because Sniper Girl, his mother had a quadruple heart bypass surgery not that long ago. Um, how, is she well? How is your mother, Sniper Girl? I hope she's well. Okay, let me check this here. It's because we're using uh, we're using an opacity map. Uh, Sniper Girl says she's doing uh, doing well. She's home currently. Well, that's great news. Great to hear, Sniper Girl. I'm glad she's doing well. Because surgeries are always a frightening thing, and uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm I'm really glad she's doing well. I'm glad to hear she's home as well. Good news. Uh, Android Lust says I'm sure Sniper Girl's mother had a more serious surgery. Uh, Sniper Girl says when it comes to family surgery, surgery. <laughs> That's right, that's true. You can you worry regardless of what the surgery is. Any surgery is dangerous regardless of what it is. It, you know, there's always a danger to surgery. They've gotten a lot better now because, you know, they've, they've been performing surgery on people for a very long time. Uh, so surgery has gotten less risky than it used to be. But having said that, any surgery can be risky. Um, okay, now, I can't actually add an opacity map to this DirectX shader, which is a real pain. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to use a, um, a physical material here. Normally I wouldn't, simply because it doesn't give us the nice look that the DirectX material does. In fact, I don't even know if we're going to see anything. That's the whole, the whole reason I'm using DirectX shaders is so we get a good, it, we can see in the viewport what the model texturing is looking like. Like we get the nice reflection happening on the gold and all that sort of stuff. Um, but unfortunately it doesn't look like I can actually add an opacity map to a DirectX shader. Which is a real pain. 
I don't want to miss it, we're in having an occlusion, they're the only options I've really got. How annoying. Um, which of course means we're not going to see our, our, our alpha map. Actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this, I'm not going to use a physical material. I'm pretty sure a physical material will only show up in a render, it'll look grey in the viewport, so it's, it's pretty useless to us really. Um, what I can do though is instead of using the two DirectX shaders so we get a nice reflection, I can just pipe in the standard shader, so if I pipe in say this one, we bypass the DirectX shader, we go straight to the standard shader. And I zoom in here. Uh, we can see our wrought iron work there, which is, it's faked. It's, you know, it's a, it's an alpha map. Um, and it's not shiny because it's not using a DirectX shader. But you get the idea. When we come to do the render, we're going to have this uh, wrought iron work that will pick up the light and should look cool. Let me get into a position where we can see it. Come on, Max, behave yourself. Uh, so, yeah. We're faking the raw iron without actually adding to the geometry, the poly count, just by using an alpha map. I hope so. Uh, Andrew Loss says, having said that, your friend is going to pull through. I, I, I do hope so because uh, I've known I've known Brad for twenty years. He's a really dear, close friend of mine, and um, yeah, I was shocked. I was shocked to hear that he, about the surgery, and uh, hopefully everything will go well. Um, I will be with him, like I said today, at the, to speak to the surgeon to find out what they want to do and what the procedure will entail, all of that sort of stuff. Um, we'll see how we go. Fingers crossed that he, stay, that, that he comes through it. Uh, Snappy Girl says, pretty much I'm living on my computer currently due to that freelance project, so will more than <laughs> likely be able to catch me. Well, there you go. Uh, now I'm just trying to decide if I want to, no, I was going to say if I want to reduce the, um, the tiling on that, but I don't think I do. I really wish I could add, um, I could add my DirectX shader to that, uh, the alpha map to my DirectX shader. That's really annoying because I want it to be pretty and shiny like these ones, uh, which is how it, it will look like that in the render. I just don't have the option, unfortunately, of adding uh, an alpha map to to the shader. Let me just double check inside the um, the node tree. You never know. Oh, no, we do have an opacity map here, actually. Okay. We do have one. Hmm, let's see. Just looking for my texture input. Um, I will keep you updated, uh, Sniper Girl, and I will t I will message you if I need someone to talk to. Thank you. Yes, I, I will do. That's, fingers crossed, everything goes well with the surgeon today, though. Thank you. I'm glad you got your fingers crossed as well, Android Lost. 
we'll see how we go. Um, yeah, I'm just looking for um <laughs> for my texture node. Animation constant input 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 math output something transform utility That's okay. We'll just copy the, the color map one. I'm just wondering why I don't have uh, a plugin. Like, obviously, the node can accept an opacity map. I'm just wondering why I don't have uh, the option here outside of the node tree. Very strange. I'm just going to close that down. I'm going to... Just wondering why it won't let me edit it. Why won't you let me do an edit? Let's hook up the UVs first. You let me edit that path. Save your work. That's a very good, very good suggestion, actually. Let me do that before I start messing around with the shader too much. <laughs> Let's just do a quick save. I'm just trying to work out why it won't let me edit the um, the path to the texture node. All of this is just so we can see a nice shiny texture in the viewport. It's really, any, it has no benefit apart from that really anyway. Uh, Snappy Girl says you really don't need to save. No, that's right, you don't need to save. <laughs> do a few hours work and don't save and do what I did the other day in Photoshop and close down the program and without doing a save after a couple of hours of work. Uh, you know how your brain can just freeze sometimes, you close the program down. Photoshop pops up a warning saying, do you want to save this document? And I said, no, we'll cancel and uh, lose all that work. Oh, well. Thankfully, it was only a couple of hours work in Photoshop. I can look at that. Uh, yeah, so the only reason I'm really looking through this node is just for my own benefit. I want to know why I don't have...
um, the opacity showing up here, but there is an opacity node as part of the uh, shader. And I can see my path, but it won't let me edit my path. Now, Andrew Lost says the only work I lost was me being uh, momentarily stupid with you, <laughs> with you bees. Looking through the options here to see if there's any um anything I'm missing. Uh, Euro says, I noticed that my people seem to complain that it crashes a lot. Maya crashes a lot. Max has been pretty good. Max, uh, Max, Max will crash, but um, I wouldn't say a lot. I'm using Max 2020 now and it's been, it's been pretty stable. Pretty stable. Uh, Andrew Loss says, well, it did bug out before it crashed. Uh, I had a fair warning to save. <laughs> yeah, Mag Max doesn't give you a warning. It'll just crash. It'll freeze and then it'll crash if it's going to crash. Um. <laughs> uh, look, I, I really wish I could work out why it's not letting me alter the path here. Usually when it won't let you alter a path, it's um, because you haven't made the, the shader unique, but I did do that, so that shouldn't be the problem. don't think there's anything I'm forgetting. No, I'm pretty sure I've got it. I've remembered everything. So why won't you let me edit my path? We may come back to it. I may check it um, between now and when I start streaming again next week. See if I can work out what the problem with that um, with the opacity material is. Why I can't change the path. Yeah. yeah. I'll do that. Um, what I want to do here though now is I want to copy this border up to the next two dome sections. So I jump into the side view here. Let us duplicate that mesh.
and we're going to have to scale it in because it's going to be too big. Um, I'm just going to close down Substance Painter in the background here. Just because I'm finding the Max Viewport to be a bit laggy, I think it's competing with Substance Painter, so I'm going to close Painter down. Come on, Painter. Uh, Euro says, Max will be more stable now. They're using OSL instead of multiple shader types. Okay. And Euro says, I usually have the viewport frame rate displaying in Max, and when that takes a dump, you know it's time to control this. <laughs> okay, that's better. Yeah, the, the viewport between uh, Substance Painter and Max, they both use DirectX. So if you're using both of them at the same time, it can it can start to uh, wig out. Okay, also going to scale this one up a little bit here in the height. What? Let's push it down. And I'm going to do one more copy for this uh, top ring. Let's scale it in. Move it up. So you need to scale it out a little bit more. A little bit more. <laughs> Not like that. And we'll scale it up a little bit as well. It loses its appeal without the shiny, shiny gold because I can't set that DirectX shader up, but uh, you get the idea. Just helps to add a little bit more interest to those rings. I'll still probably end up taking those rings into Mari just to do a bit of an overpaint on them as well. Not the gold, the, uh, the, 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 the normal ring that the gold is sitting on top of. We'll do an overpaint of Mari with those. But that just helps to lift it up, give it a bit more bling. Pimp up our temple a bit more. I'm just doing a quick save again. Um, Euro says VRAM being virtual memory. And Euro says looks cool. Love the contrast between the gold and the reptiles. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's a little hard to see now in the viewport because we're not getting that, that specular reflection hit on the gold rings, which we will get when we do a render. Um, so yeah, they'll, 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 they'll lift up once we start doing a render in, in Eon View because um, I can set up the PBR material correctly in View. So we'll get nice reflection happening from the gold. It's looking dull here in the, in the viewport because I can't set up the DirectX shader. But I will look at that between now and uh, Monday next week when I'm back live and see if I can work out why I can't, why, how I can add my opacity map to the DirectX shader. But I think we might call it a day, guys and girls. Uh, I do want to thank you very much for being here and for watching. I will be back again on Monday next week. We'll pick up here where we left off. We'll continue texturing the rest of this uh, Temple of the Winds. I hope you guys and girls have a great weekend. Um, again, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. I do want to thank um, thank the guys for the hosts and also it's Luca for the follow. You guys have a great weekend and I will see you on Monday next week. See you guys. <laughs>